Ottoman Boys 4x400 Relay joining us down here at the uh, State Track Meet. Let's start off with Trevor Smith who opened things up today. Trevor, you always say you like coming out of the blocks. How'd this one go? Yeah, it felt good. Coming out is, again, like always, I mean, I knew. Go around the corner, try and break staggers. As I go, I'm very late six. I only had two guys. I was dead set on being, being in front, not having anybody beside me as I handed off. So I knew we had the outside stagger on the inside guys. And those two on the outside, so that was my goal. Get out, get in front of them, and hand it off. You look strong throughout the race. Did you feel as good as you looked? Yeah, I felt pretty good in this one, honestly. I mean, I know relays, I, this one I really ran relaxed. I wasn't tightening it up, you know. Towards the end, I just knew I had to relax, get in, finish my race, and get the stick to Jake. Now, this is an event you guys have loved all year. And you didn't come in in the top eight, but I know you want to be in the finals. What was the, the real goal coming down here this year? Our goal was break 330, which is trying to run 333. And then if that gets in the finals, that's what we wanted. I mean, after we looked at qualifying times, we knew this 4x4 was fast. Throughout the state, everyone kind of was running. Like, holy cow, like, people are picking it up or what. And, you know, I didn't mean, right now it doesn't look like we're going to make it in, so it's unfortunate, but... We were in solid time, and throughout the year, we just keep getting better at this, plugging away, getting in shape, and we've ran well for all of our meets with us four, so it's been a good year. Well, Trevor, I tell you what, it's been an outstanding year. We appreciate you joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow for the 4x1. Thank you. Let's move over now to Jake Mulford, who ran the second leg here today. Jake, uh, how did you feel like you ran? You looked strong as well. Uh, I felt it looked really good and felt pretty good, too. I mean, like Trevor said, I mean, Looks to be deceiving too, you know. I mean, yeah. I felt really strong that a whole race it might even be my best split, I feel. Now you you were in first place as you were able to cut down on the back side there. Uh when did you feel the pressure starting to come up? You know, I knew that being a state all these four hundred runners are gonna be solid, you know. So the pressure's never really off. I mean there could be a guy running the forty forty nine, forty eight split, you know, but you just got to hope for the best. Run your race. You don't want to run other people's race. That's when you mess up. When did you feel somebody starting to come up behind you? Uh, probably about the start of the 200. I mean, you can really hear people breathing. I mean, they breathe pretty hard. So, I mean, that's one one thing you can hear. So on, the, on this track, you, can, you can't really hear their steps coming as well as you can on other tracks because, I mean, this nice track, you know, so you had to really just without breathing. How much you have left of the 100, last 100? You know, I feel, I feel like, yeah, I had, I had enough to push through, you know, make it look like I had some, but all together, I think I just kept the race going smooth for myself. Well, Jake, congratulations. Great effort today. We'll see you tomorrow for the 4x1. Thank you. All right, let's move over to Mitchell Nelson here, who ran the anchor leg here today, and Mitchell, uh, uh, Tyler came out hard today, and then looked like he was starting to kind of fight it a little bit there at the end. Were you yelling at him at all to kind of get him to you on that last handoff? Yeah, I was yelling at him to get in quick, and he took off. I think he ran probably a great leg there because he was moving till about the last 40. He started slowing down a little bit, but he ran that he ran that fast all the way around. And he has to slow down a little bit. How did you feel like you ran then? Did you get out as sharp as you wanted to? Yeah, I felt like I got out pretty well. There's just there's some great anchors there. Kind of caught me, and it's frustrating a little bit because I wish I could run with some of the best anchors in the state, but I'm just not quite there yet. But overall, I mean, a good finish for you guys. Close to the time and record that you were looking to break today, right? Yeah, I think it's close to our personal best. How much did you have left coming down the straightaway, do you think? Well, yeah, about what I usually do, I guess. I, I always feel like, I always want to say I can sprint forever, so I just, I always feel like I got the same amount left every time, but still can't keep up with any good anchors. Well, I tell you what, Mitch, we appreciate you joining us here today, and best of luck. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. All right, folks, and again, we apologize. Not able to catch up with Tyler Reboff again. He kind of ran himself ragged in the race today and had to step away from the interview process.